quick and easy pineapple beer making recipe. So you've just seen what we are going to end up with after putting this all together. Don't worry, I'm not going to show you how to cut pineapples. We're going to jump straight into this thing and keep it short. What you'll need, a 25 liter container. I suggest you go big from the start because you don't want to spend seven days making this only to want more. Four pineapples, two kilograms of brown sugar, two 10 gram sachets of yeast, instant yeast, brewer's yeast, whichever you choose or whichever you can find in the stores. Clean and sanitize everything. This includes your pineapples. Give the skins a good scrub with a brush. Do not add your yeast to water that is too warm. If the water is too hot, you will kill the yeast. If you kill the yeast, you will prevent the fermentation process from happening and you won't produce any alcohol. Chop your pineapples, put them in the container, then add the sugar all of it at once. Fill the container halfway with warm water just so that you can dissolve the sugars. After the sugars are dissolved, fill the rest of the container with cold water to bring the overall temperature to around 26 degrees. For this, you can use a meat thermometer or whatever you have. Once your temperature is around 26 degrees, add your sachets of yeast and give the whole thing a very good stir. Leave it for two days without touching it. Thereafter, stir it once a day for five days. So the whole process, we left it for seven days. You could do shorter, you could possibly do longer, but I wouldn't recommend it. The only thing you might, you'll, you'll have to make in this entire process is an airlock. Uh, this allows the gases that build up inside the brewing vessel to escape without allowing anything else back into the container or brewing vessel. I used a spice jar and a little piece of tubing. Um, uh, if you fill the spice jar with water and you put the tube into the water, that creates a one-way valve. So gases can only flow from the, your container through the water and out, allowing not allowing anything to get back into your container. Just make sure that the side that goes into your container is fully airtight. It's a good idea to place this on top of the container so that it can't, for whatever case, create some kind of a side filling effect. Um, also, another tip is add a dash of vinegar to the water that you put into this container just to keep things sterile. After seven days, when you're ready to bottle, decant it from the brewing container through some kind of a sieve, a cloth, whatever you, you want to use to get the, the chunks out and, and pour it into a secondary container. Once you've strained the mixture, you're ready to bottle and drink immediately, which is great. We bottled our, our pineapple beer into two liter plastic Coke bottles. It worked perfectly fine. Um, it does build up pressure once left in the two liter bottle for a few days. So just be careful when you open it that you don't get an explosion. Um, and you can expect some sediment to rest at the bottom of the container. It's perfectly normal. Uh, it tastes great. There's definitely a bit of a kick. So enjoy and uh, have fun. You don't kill the yeast. You don't kill the yeast. Don't kill the fucking yeast. Quick and easy pineapple beer. Quick and easy.